What did your first recording setup look like back then, or what was the first studio you recorded at when you started? The first studio I recorded at, you know I'm saying, was my studio in my, in my living room, no cap. It was the uh, old Logic Pro, you know what I'm saying, USB mic. You had the little SpongeBob blanket, you know what I'm saying, for the little soundproof shit, you know what I'm saying, on the wall and shit, right by the mic. Had the little the MacBook desktop. 03 one, that shit was made out of 03. <laughs> that bitch was hard though. Yeah, you was recording off that shit, no cap. I remember that shit. Still got that shit. Now, was this a studio setup you designed yourself? You put together yourself? Me and my dad, yeah. We put it together. No cap. Was it, was it something he had for himself at first, or this was for you the whole time? This setup was solely for you? I told him to get the computer. So, I don't shit. If I ain't tell him to get the desktop, he probably would never got the studio. No okay, care. I told him to get the desktop. It was at my grandma's house. I was like, you should get it. You should get it. We got it. Put logic on it. And it just that's how that was. So, yeah. Now, previously, you mentioned to me the name of your first song ever. Was this setup what you used for that particular song? Yes. Yes. Your very first song, I don't know if you can remember or not, but were you nervous? Hell nah. That shit was just like fun. It was like fun because my, my big brother was recording me. You know what I'm saying? He was like, go, go, go. And I had wrote it. We like, I was just, I was right. I was writing with pens on paper. <laughs> no cat like, we been up. Yeah, he was really rapping that shit. And, uh, that shit was doo doo though. For time reference, it's July 2021 now. But what's your recording process like these days? You know what I'm saying? Do a song in 30 minutes. Yeah. Go to the next one. Keep going. No cap. At this point, do you like recording during the day or at night? Shit, I, I like to record whenever shit. Cause when you when I'm in the booth, it's always nighttime. No cap. Gang. <laughs> Do you notice any difference in the actual music when it's recorded during the day or at night? Um, I don't notice the vibe at all, no cap, because I get the same vibe. No cap. <laughs> now, you are the loner boy. Is that a self-proclaimed name, or is this what people have actually called you? That's my name, no cap. People call me that. Been calling me that loner boy, no cap, because I be... I just be staying to myself and shit, no cap. Does that apply to the studio as well? Shit. Nah. Studio be pat. <laughs> <laughs> but everywhere else, my mom. No cap. Why do you like the studio to be packed? The gang be in that bit. Like, you talking about, you feel me? Like, you can't be in the studio by yourself, having no motion. Ain't no lane, nigga. No cap, we'll be some loner stuff. We don't fuck with people, but only the gang come in. Sure. Does that ever get distracting? Nope. Ever. Never ever. Do you record inside the mic booth or outside the mic booth? Inside the booth. Dark, all the lights off. And why do you prefer inside the booth? There are some that record outside of it. Inside, I like to be, I'm saying, in a dark place. You record sitting down or standing up? Both. How do you decide? For the hook, I might sit down, then I get up for the verse. Do you notice you sit down more than you stand up or the other way around, or is it 50-50? It's like 50-50, a pattern, like, yeah, yeah, facts. When you're in the recording studio, top three things you need? Sorry, I need some, I need some Zaza. I need some chips, I need the Arizona, some shit, you know what I'm saying? I need something to drink, all that shit. Yeah, I said three, that was three. Something to drink, some, some food, some Zaza, you know what I'm saying? The beats, that, that's already there. Studio music, that's already in there, so shit, yeah. Craziest studio story, if you have one. Craziest studio story, man. Oh yeah, I, I. Well, yeah, we was at, we was at Danny Wolf, uh, Danny Wolf, uh, house studio setup. It was me, Danny Wolf, Backwoods, this other producer named Backwoods. 
we would slap box, we would slap box. <laughs> Me and this producer would slap box. <laughs> so we would slap box and this shit. Like, he was getting mad because like, I was really like, I was slapping his shit. I was, I was like, yo, that, that nigga's going out bad. <laughs> that nigga's going out bad. You know, Cap, like, everybody seen that shit. Like, he was just like, he was just, he was just mad because I was like, I was being his ass. Like, slick. Like, I was being his ass on low. He didn't like that shit. He's like, no, bro, let's keep going. So I was like, bro. You still want to go? Like we we done now. He still want he want to run it back. Like bro, no, I gotta redeem myself. So he run it back. Then <laughs> I slapped this nigga so hard. Like I slapped nigga so hard, I dislocated my shoulder. No cap. Like that shit is crazy. That's probably the craziest shit. What happens in that instance? You dislocate your shoulder. Huh? What happens in that instance after dislocating your shoulder? Shit, I'm just like, oh shit. I'm like, what the fuck going on? This shit feel weird, you know what I'm saying? Fuck around dislocating my shoulder, you fuck around. <laughs> that nigga broke his nose. <laughs> that nigga nose was creaky as fuck. That shit was crazy. I was like, damn. <laughs> Several questions come to mind. Let's start with this one. Yeah, first, whose idea was this to slap box each other? In the first place. It was like, who's was playing? I don't know. Who was playing at first? Like, I don't even remember that shit, for real, for real. We was playing that first, though. And then second, was any of this caught on video? No. Do you wish it was? No. And then three... I don't want my boy to go out bad like that. No cap. And then three, dislocating your shoulder, a shoulder period, can be a serious health issue. Uh, do you get it popped in place? Do you see a professional about it to fix it, or? Oh yeah, he, yeah. The, the doctor got me right, and they popped my shit back in place. Had to. No cap. It, was it an emergency situation? You go to the emergency room or urgent care? Or? I went to the. Oh yeah, I went to the emergency room. Facts. They're like they popped that shit in like seconds. After that shit, I left. <laughs> no cap. Now, there may be people watching this interview that's heard of that phrase before, dislocated shoulder. Uh, sometimes that happens to athletes. But when they actually pop that back in place, is that painful? No, that shit feel good as fuck. That shit feel like a relief. That shit was hurting. Oh God, that shit make your shit feel better. Here we go. Is it a sound? Is it, when they yeah. pop it back in so, place, is it a sound to it? So, sound. That be it. <laughs> you gonna hear that shit. You don't wanna hear that shit though. What did this entire experience teach you, slap boxing this producer here? Nah, it ain't teach me nothing, I'm saying just gotta be careful sometimes. Shit shit happens. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Has okay. this stopped you from slap boxing in the future or are you No. Nope. Have you since? Yeah. Pretty sure I did. I'm a young nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs>